welcome to our channel viewers this video tutorial is about recent advances in the management of ulcerative colitis we have designed this video tutorial in a way that we have discussed a real life case and evolved our theoretical discussion around the around that case we have covered in detail about the definition diagnosis grading and management that includes both medical and surgical we have covered try to cover everything in minute details uh, so that uh, medical student can understand easily uh, about this uh, topic that is inflammatory bowel disease ulcerative colitis The ulcerative colitis is defined as a chronic inflammatory condition that causes continuous mucosal inflammation of the colon, usually without granulomas on biopsies. It affects the rectum and to a very large extent the colon in a continuous fashion and is characterized by a relapsing and repeating course. So uh, there are few words that we have to catch in this definition that is continuous and it starts from the anorectal junction and extends proximally. Another Definition is inflammatory bowel disease unclassified that is IBDU. Uh, it is defined as there is no definitive distinction between UC and Crohn disease or other cause of colitis or isolated colitis. But there is no small bowel involvement so we cannot clearly differentiate between uh, the ulcerative colitis or other cause of colitis or Crohn disease and it is confined to the large bowel only then it is called inflammatory bowel disease unclassified. Another term used in IBD is indeterminate colitis. This term is used by pathologists to describe a colectomy specimen with overlapping features of ulcerative colitis and Crohn disease. Another term is remission and remission in ulcerative colitis is defined as stool frequency less than 3 less than equal to 3 per day and no rectal bleeding and normal mucosa endoscopy. We have to remember these terms uh, word by word and these are the basis of many questions during complete examinations uh, for post graduation and super specialty courses. The absence of a histopathological acute inflammatory infiltrate predict quiescent course of the disease that is on histopathology biopsy is taken and there is no inflammatory infiltrate then it is histologically or pathologically a quiescent course of disease. Coming to the clinical features of ulcerative colitis. Ulcerative colitis affects both males and females equally. There is no gender distinction. The usual presentation is bloody diarrhea, bleeding, tenesmus, urgency, fecal incontinence, and nocturnal, def nocturnal defecation. Nocturnal defecation is the symptom which differentiated from irritable bowel syndrome that we have to remember that IBS and ulcerative colitis can have overlapping features, but in IBS, generally there are no nocturnal symptoms. The inflammation correctly commences in rectum and extends proximally. As I said, we have to remember these words that is continuous, confident and concentric, which are one of the pathognomic features of the ulcerative colitis. There are three C for UC, that is continuous, confident and concentric. Loose food more than six weeks differentiate ulcerative colitis from most of the cases of infectious diarrhea. Uh, from that, I mean to say, that it is unlikely that any infectious diarrhea will persist uh, for more than six weeks. If a patient is presenting with loose stool of more than six week duration, then we have to think on the lines of inflammatory bowel disease or, or ulcerative colitis. There can be simple fistulas in case of ulcerative colitis, but recurrent or complex perineal fistulas should always raise the suspicion of Crohn's disease. So, friends. Uh, Usually we find uh, medical students and uh, postgraduates struggling with the uh, cases of ulcerative colitis. If we remember these words, then it will be easier for us to diagnose and treat a case of inflammatory bowel disease or ulcerative colitis. So this is a case of 25 female who has no known comorbidity with no history of uh, past surgery 
and she was apparently well six months back. Patient presented to us with history of blood and stool uh, that was 10 to 12 episodes per day and uh, it came down to 6 to 8 episodes per day gradually. Uh, the stool were mixed with blood. She was giving history of tenesmus. Loss of appetite was there. There was no loss of weight and she also gave undocumented history of low-grade fever off and on. Her general physical examination was pulse was 137 per minute. Her BP was on lower side, that is 100 by 70. She had pallor. The rest of the uh, general physical examination findings, that is, ictus, clubbing, cyanosis, colonychia, lipotendopathy, and edema were absent. Uh, her abdominal and systemic examination was within normal limit. Correct examination was normal except for the loose tool and occasional staining with the blood. Her basic workup uh, showed HP of 7.6 gram. Uh, TLC was on the higher side, that is 13,500. The rest of the lab parameters, liver function test, liver, renal function test, and electrolytes were normal. Her screening ultrasound abdomen was normal. So, based upon our discussion till now, what is our clinical diagnosis? What are the differential diagnoses in this case? And what is the further workup required for diagnosis? of this patient. Please viewers think over it, write it down and we will discuss this case as the theoretical discussion evolves. So stay tuned. The risk factor for ulcerative colitis are family history of infirmity bowel disease. A meta-analysis showed that appendectomy done for proven appendicitis before adulthood reduces the risk of infirmity bowel disease by 69%. Appendectomy after onset of ulcerative colitis, the effect if any of the course of disease is less clear and subject to the ongoing research. So uh, appendectomy done for a proven case of appendicitis has a protective effect against the ulcerative colitis. The painkillers necessitates may exhibit the disease, so we should avoid use of the painkillers in patients of infertility bowel disease. The preliminary evidence from open label studies and double blind control trial showed that selective COX-2 inhibitors are safe and can be used in case of uh, ulcerative colitis patient if required. Vitamin D deficiency, it increases the risk of both ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease and that is the rationale of using vitamin D supplements in case of infertility bowel disease. I have given the relevant reference to all the statements in this video and uh, most of my uh, this discussion is based upon eco guidelines eco 2017 guidelines and the reference for which i have given at the end of this video tutorial phenotypically there are basically three types of disease extend in ulcerative colitis first figure is proctitis when the inflammation is confined to the rectum only below the rectosphemoid Junction. Uh, it is in the case of 30 to 60 percent of patient, and symptoms are rectal bleeding, tenesmus, and urgency. Uh, the second figure is a case of left side colitis when the inflammation extends from the rectum till splenic flexure, and that is a case of 16 to 45 percent of patient, and the symptoms are proctitis plus diarrhea and abdominal cramping. In 15 to 35 percent of cases, that is the third figure. It is called extensive colitis when the inflammation extends beyond the splenic flexure and if it involves the whole large bowel then up to the cecum then it is called pancolitis. The symptoms are left side colitis plus conscious symptoms, fatigue and fever. As the extent of inflammation increases, the severity of symptoms also increases. The proximal extension of proctitis or left side colitis occur in 20 to 50 20 to 50 percent of the cases that means a patient initially having symptom of proctitis or left colitis will have the progression of the inflammation to the rest of the colon. The extent of inflammation influences the patient's management and risk of colorectal cancer. I hope you like the video. Please don't 
forget to like the video and uh, subscribe to our channel. The channel subscription is free for a lifetime. The knowledge is invaluable. Happy learning. Thank you very much.